So the clip I'm going to be reviewing is about four years old, and it's basically John Piper being confronted by who I believe is a false teacher on a topic of fun. Now, this man in the clip who presses John Piper on the word fun is a preacher, and he heads his own church. And to me, that's a scary thing. His stance is, what's your problem with having fun in church, John Piper? What's wrong with enjoying ourselves and having a good time in church? That's basically how he's coming at John Piper. Because Piper's stance is that the word fun is not a word that's synonymous with gospel preaching, and I stand with John on that. It's not to say that preaching can't be at times fun to those who have been given the gift to preach, and that just means that they enjoy doing what God has ordained them to do. The wrong view of fun in regards to preaching is to treat preaching as you would the watching of a movie, playing a baseball game, or enjoying playing a video game. Those things can be fun. Preaching to a group of sinners of whom, without repentance, will spend eternity in hell is not fun. It's serious. It's deadly serious. I don't think flippancy and fun have to be the same. I wonder if perhaps fun for me is a bit more of enjoyable as opposed to maybe joy. You know, Paul learned joy in the midst of plenty and in the midst of want. Um, we, we have... You can't read Philippians without learning the Greek word for joy. I mean, it's, it's just all over the book. Um, but there are things, you had the joy of the Lord when you were having absolutely no fun at all. Fair? And then the Astros win the World Series. <laughs> now, we'd have had the joy of the Lord if we had lost. But it was kind of fun. Joe wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> True. It was kind of fun. Um, and, and so I'm coming back to you, John, because I, I want you to, to talk me back and continue to help me here. Some people believe that Christians can't have fun, that they must be the sourpusses that God set up all of these rules that don't allow you to have fun. You know, when I was in college and high school, the reason I would get invited to all of the parties is because I could be the designated driver. They knew I wasn't going to drink because I didn't have any fun. Well, I had a great time. I had a lot of fun. And I didn't worry about getting home safely each night. Um, what... And, and I understand you've elevated a word. You've said fun is, is on, fun is a 2 on a scale of 1 to 10 when we ought to be at a 10 level. Fun's not enough, if I'm hearing you right. And fun sometimes can be flippant, if Sam's saying it right. And, and, and I've got no... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't go to a church like that. I, I don't like that. It, uh, but within the framework of this... What do you say to the people who say Christians just don't have fun? How do you answer that? I would, uh, first of all, decide who they are and what, where they're coming from. What, what's behind that? Because I think when I was probably in my 20s, I, wor I worried about that question. Okay. And I don't anymore. Um, so my, my goal in life is not worrying about people who say that about Christianity because I, I think what, what happened in Sutherland Springs is what we should worry about. Um, it's, it's not, Christianity is a problem not because its representatives don't have parties that are as fun as ours. That's just not in the global scheme of things a big problem for Christianity. Um, so that, I'd, I'd try to discern where, where, where are they coming from. I might say, so why, why, are you so, why are you so interested in fun? Like, you're going to die. Now, did you hear how they laughed at the end of the clip? Did you hear how what they laughed at what John Piper said? You're going to die. There was nothing funny about what he said. What he said was true. And what he said resonated with why having fun has nothing to do with preaching to a dying people, okay? And so uh, one of the good ways, one of the ways of kind of gauging how, where people are spiritually who are in the congregation 
It's what they laugh at. You ever, you ever been watching a sermon and the pastor says something glorious and truthful and, and wonderful and you're amening at it, but then the people in the audience start laughing and you're like, what are you laughing at? Okay, you ever had that happen? I've had it happen often. And so here's the thing. The man that's, that's asking John Piper this question on fun, he just, he doesn't get it, okay? He just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand the seriousness of what he's been tasked with. OK, and I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of, John, of Paul Washer talking about men just like this. OK, this man is a perfect example of what Paul Washer is talking about in this clip. When, when I see ministers come to a pulpit and go, hey, hope you're all having a good time here today. Isn't it wonderful, man? It's great to be in the house of God. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer. I go, that man does not pray. That man does not pray. Really? 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 You've got to be kidding me. That's it? No, 